Hello everyone, my name is Rotem Dror, and in this presentation I will present our work called Zero Shot on the Fly Event Schema Induction, which was done in collaboration with Hao Yu Wong and Dan Roth. An event schema is a graphical representation of the principal actions and participants in an event, along with relationships between events, such as temporal relations or hierarchical relations, as you see in the example here. Our work introduces an automated approach for event schema induction, which eliminates the need for manual document collection about complex events of interest. Previous methods relied on collecting the documents manually on specific topics, for example, a pandemic outbreak, and processing these documents into a schema graph. However, this approach is costly and time-consuming, limiting the ability to generate schemas for various topics. Our pipeline enables generating complete schemas solely based on the topic, making the schema induction process faster and more accessible. We use large language models, such as GPT-3, to generate texts on a given topic. We generate different types of texts in order of representing different types of events. We use three prompts to generate news-like events, wiki-how-like documents, and schema-like documents. Once the necessary documents are generated, we move to extracting relevant information from them. We have developed a more efficient model for extracting relations between events which performs equivalently to existing inefficient models. Our model extracts two types of relations between events, namely temporal and hierarchical relations. For example, to extract temporal or sub-event relations between events that would give us order and hierarchy of actions, we encode the whole document generated by GPT using Big Bird Roberto Base and obtain contextualized represent representations for each event. We then use fully connected layers to predict the relations for each pair of events in the text. Our supervision for sub-event and temporal relations come from the Haive and Matras datasets. To make the temporal relation extraction more robust, we also attempted to add tense information into the text. Specifically, we enclosed the events with special characters and added the tense of it in two form formats. One is in plain text like present perfect simple. The other is the acronym of the tense in square brackets. Experimental results show that the first format performed slightly better than the second and so we eventually adopted the first format to predict temporal relations between events. After extracting the timeline and hierarchical relations, we connect all the extracted timelines into a single graph by using logical relations. We place a logical end between events if both events can occur at the same time or there is no significance to the order between them. We use a logical OR to mark events that can occur simultaneously but not necessarily. After more pre-processing steps that are described extensively in the paper, we get the final output in the form of a graph, like the example shown here of a kidnapping schema. To evaluate our schema generation process, we conducted a comparison with existing supervised methods that rely on manually collected texts and unsupervised methods that use our pipeline with various language models such as GPT-2 and GPT-J for generating the texts. The results show that the GPT-3 pipeline model outperforms the other unsupervised models in the tasks of event coverage and prediction of last event. Notably, it even outperforms the supervised models in predicting the last event task. In addition to the comparison presented earlier, we conducted a human annotation study where human judges were asked to identify whether a presented schema was generated by our model or by a human annotator. 
While the judges could differentiate between our schemas and the human-generated schemas in most cases, they ranked our schemas higher in terms of quality in the majority of cases. In conclusion, we propose a method to generate schemas given the sole input of a topic. To improve the efficiency of the pipeline, we implement a one-pass model that requires less inference time and memory space with comparable performance to state-of-the-art models. We define a new type of relation between events, logical relations, and we evaluate our pipeline by comparing to other supervised models and unsupervised models and perform human evaluation, showing that our pipeline is able to cover a decent amount of pertinent information. Thank you for listening.